You're tuned in to Capital Jazz TV. I'm your host, Jodine Dorsey. This is the 12th annual Capital Jazz Super Cruise. I am sitting here for the first time ever. We have her on the boat, Melody Camacho. What's How happening? are you, Melody? I am so blessed and so happy you guys finally picked me to come on board. I'm like, finally! I'm doing it, Capital. Michael has been talking about you guys, yeah. praising this yeah. cruise. I got to get you on. I got to get you on. And then by faith, it just happened. It happened. It happened. And here I am. I was looking at YouTube. I like, I like to do my little research and look at YouTube right. clippings, and you killed me. I, it was a joke that you said, and I was rolling. It's and I real. love seeing, I'm going to say this, black women comedians oh, keeping yeah. it 100. I, try I to love keep it. it. I try to say the things that you think. <laughs> you ain't going to say it out loud. I'll say it for you. I got you. I, I got I you. Appreciate yes. I appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate it. We all have uh, um, some dramas in our lives that right. we need to speak about. Not just men either. The economy, <laughs> right. everything that's going right. on. Getting older. We, right. It's so much to talk about, you know. Yeah. And I try to keep us current on all of it. I so. love it. I and love have it. fun. We can make it funny. We can yeah. laugh about our pain. So that's what I try to do. Is it? Because I because I know you talk about some real issues, like some I do. real things. Do you do you find it kind of hard or difficult to make it funny? I mean, is it a challenge to make it? You funny? You know what? I just go out and I talk to my sister or one of my girlfriends yeah. or you, and, uh -huh. and you don't even know I'm running this joke past you, <laughs> and I'm taking it to the stage in a minute. But right. if you're laughing. They're all going to laugh. Right, so I take right. it there. I try to do it where I'm not offending. Because right. I can talk about the men, and they come up to me after the show telling me how funny I was. So oh, they good. enjoyed it just as much. Good. They're not like, ah, you're a man hater. I'm not a man. Yeah. I love men. I just get concerned about sensitive people. Oh, well, you shouldn't come to the show <laughs> if you're sensitive. If you're sensitive, comedy is not for you, okay? Um, don't come in there. People are always afraid that they're going to mess with the first people in the first rows. Uh -huh. No. Unless you come in looking like Bozo the Clown, uh -huh, we uh -huh. have material. And you want to be talked about if you come in looking like Bozo That's the Clown, right? right? That's right. So, other than I got jokes, I'll have no time. I got 25 minutes, I'll have no time to talk about you. <laughs> but I've been walking around this ship and there's so much material. I don't know how I'm going to get it all in, but I'm going to find a way. Black I'm find excellence a way. is on this ship. That's what I've been yes. saying all week. Oh, Black yeah. excellence on this yeah, ship. some. It ain't all black excellent. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Some people brought their friends that are not excellent. I don't know. They must have won a ticket. I don't know. But oh, wow. I tell you what, if you haven't been on this cruise, tell a friend to tell a friend. They got Absolutely. a, a card, a credit card. Oh my God. Come on this cruise here. They go out and find the coolest black people in the country yeah. and put them right here. Yeah. The grown and sexy the for real. The grown and sexy for real. I yes. know that's right. But Melanie, let's talk about you. Okay. You started out as a technician. Now, this story amazes me I was me an here. electronic technician at this Hughes is... Aircraft Company. I wow. had just got promoted, matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And um, I was doing comedy. I went to go see Robin Harris. Okay. And he had died, and I didn't know it. And I had paid 20 bucks, and the comics were not that funny to me. I was kind of disappointed. Oh, wow. And then I saw somebody from high school in there, and they were like, oh, you can make so much money telling jokes and stuff. And it's what I did in high school, but I didn't think I could make a living doing it. Right. So I would go back and try, and then the guy was like, can you come back? Can you come back? And I was ran home to tell my husband, hey, they think I'm funny. Can I come back? And he's like, look, you work. You go to school and no, pick which one you want to do because I'm not going to be Mr. Wow. Mom when I get off work. Wow. You know? So I had to make a decision and right. I decided to, when school got out, uh -huh. then I would try to pursue the comedy. Right. And I ended up, um, my bosses at, at Hughes Aircraft were a little, they were having a problem about me I taking every other Friday off. They were like, look, you're going to work here or you're going to do that. And then I got laid off the day. There it is. I taped my first Def Comedy Jam. Had never been to New York. I was. I told wow. mail me my check, and the rest is history. I booked the tour. As soon as I taped, as soon as I came off stage, they were wow. like, "You're going on tour." What? I didn't even know what Def Jam was when I taped it. I didn't wow. have cable, so I didn't get to see those first episodes. How is it that it just God, opened up? God, like what? God is that so is amazing. Crazy. Oh, you be. So, I, I, never in a million years. 30 years ago, could you ask me what, you a stand-up comedian? Never would I have ever wow. guessed. I have been doing this now for 27 years. I have raised two kids, and they're both college graduates. I am a proud parent, wow. and God is good. 
Wow. And I, I, I know I'm not on the movies. I've, I've done a few movies. You've done a few films. As a matter of fact, I just wrote, directed, and produced my own film. I, I said, if Hollywood can't put me in them, I'll put my own self in them. And that's I, what I did. That's what I'm talking about. I reached out to every one of my comedian friends in L.A., mm -hmm. Michael Collier, J. Anthony Brown, Tiffany Haddish, Kim Whitley, Sherry right. Shepard, A.J. Johnson. They all said, when and where. And they all came, and they're all and part you, so of you this. Wrote, Produce and directed. Wrote, peru produce and directed, and I'm in editing right now. It'll be in theaters or on Netflix this year, Christmas 2019. It's called Boosters, and I say go out and do it yourself. John Singleton said, you know, when I was shopping the script, John uh -huh. Singleton said, look, I shot Boys in the Hood forever, and then I said, forget this, I'm gonna make it myself. And he said, make it yourself. I went and asked my millionaire friend for $50,000. Right. He said, what's your account number? I was like, what? Oh, thank you, Father. This what's is why I'm moving number? to L.A. This is I don't why have I'm to give you none or nothing. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to break his back up. <laughs> Not even. It's still good people in this world. I didn't have to do none wow. of that. How did you learn? Like, how did you learn all the, techni the technical specs or technical te technicalities to make it a to make it a I, film? I like, watched, how do you do uh, that? What you do is you go online, and I did like the master classes. Okay. A lot. Every okay. director, every director, Spike Lee, Steven Spielberg, all of them have a, they have the master's class, and they're hundred bucks for you to learn how to shoot a film. I suggest everybody that's interested. There's nothing you can't. The internet has made it where so there should be no dummy in America. So you should be. You don't even have to know how to type. If you can touch that microphone button, you can say, "How do I?" And if Google don't tell you, YouTube will show you. You better you know, ask somebody. You, you Stop asking here. Uncle John. He don't know. <laughs> ask Google. Ask Siri. They can tell you the real. Okay. And you're you're. So when I when I heard about Melody, I thought you were from Chicago. I was like instantly like. I was shoot. born in Chicago. But you were born in Chicago. I was born in, in Chicago. My mom went to L.A. for vacation. She saw the job opportunity. She said, "Pack y'all. We going to L.A." But you still got that Chicago comedy that water. Oh, <laughs> you know the greatest comics in the in the business. Business have come from, from Chicago. Chicago. It's from Chi-Town. I can't. Mac, I gotta give. You, it's just the beginning. Adele. It's just so many. I gotta give Chicago its props. They yes. really do produce really good comedians. Comedians and, you, and steppers. Yeah. <laughs> which we which are is doing. all over <laughs> the jazz crew. So if you don't know how, they got classes everywhere. I'm gonna take one. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know how. Absolutely. Yes. Tell me what's next for you outside of the film. What's oh, next? How do God, we keep I'm so contact? busy. Um, once I leave this boat, mm -hmm. I have to go. I'm in. Oakland. I'm on this tour called Girls Night Out, so look out. I know I'll be Girls doing... Girls Night Out, okay. Um, we'll be in um, D.C. at the um, MGM Grand uh, April 9th. Then I'll be in L.A. May 9th mm -hmm. at the Nokia. Okay. But I'll be in doing clubs. I'm in North Carolina, Valentine's Day weekend okay. at Raleigh Durham with Corey Holcomb and I. We're going to be battling for Valentine's Day. And nice. Just follow me at Melanie Comarcho, C-O-M-A-R-C-A at Instagram and you'll see everywhere I'm going and everywhere I've been so Perfect. follow me Perfect. the internet is amazing <laughs> <laughs> Melanie thank you so much for being thank here you. I know this is your first one but I'm so glad you're having a good time with I us here on the, the Capital Jazz Super Cruise it is amazing good. everything I, I, all the talent you guys have booked yeah. is on point good and, and the food is pretty good too and that, especially in the dining room yeah so go check it out yeah yes. absolutely well thank you melanie for thank joining you. us wakanda forever wakanda forever that's right because it's, it's wakanda, wakanda day night. right <laughs> yes <laughs> melody thank you so much thank you Jolene. you're watching capital jazz TV. see you guys tuesday <laughs>